Hi, my name is Yen, and this is how you disassemble a G305 gaming mouse from Logitech. For this, you will only need a 2mm Phillips head screwdriver, something flat and pointy like a flathead screwdriver or a knife, as well as some replacement mouse feet. Start by removing the back cover from the mouse, as well as the battery inside. Then flip the mouse over to reveal the four mouse feet underneath. Take something sharp and pointy like a knife or a flathead screwdriver and peel off the mouse feet. Even if you're very careful, the mouse feet will get destroyed in the process. Your mouse shouldn't have hot glue underneath the mouse feet, that is from me, but I would still recommend peeling off any adhesive you find underneath your mouse feet. After peeling off the mouse feet, you should find four screws that hold the mouse together. You don't need to remove the circular mouse foot just because there's no screw underneath it, and take your 2mm Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew all four screws from the mouse. After removing all four screws, the mouse should just separate into two halves. Be careful at this step because there is a wire holding the top and bottom half together that you do not want to break. Just be aware of the two wires holding the mouse halves together and just slowly pry apart the mouse at this point. You should hear some clicks and as long as they're not cracking noises then you should be fine. Just carefully bend and twist until the mouse comes apart. Carefully unplug the two wires holding the halves together, like so. Now you can separate the two halves of the mouse and do whatever you need to do. This is what the G305 looks like on the inside. Wow, so cool. My left mouse click wasn't working so I decided to clean the inside of the mouse while I had it open, as well as the connectors that we pulled the two wires out from earlier. Now is also a good time to clean some of the hard to reach places like the bottom side of the mouse wheel and underneath the side buttons as well. A few blasts of air from this air pump should get out any dust that we missed with our cotton swabs. Putting the mouse back together is as easy as taking it apart. You just reconnect the two cables you took out carefully as to not snap the connectors. Now is as good as time as any to check if the mouse still works, and thankfully, everything works. After that, turn the mouse off and everything should just click back together much easier than the process of taking it apart. Put the screws back where you found them, and your mouse is basically reassembled. Now all there is left to do is attach the replacement mouse feet back where we took off the old mouse feet from. Clean off the rest of the outside of the mouse. Make sure there is no more glue from the old mouse feet so that the new mouse feet has a good surface to adhere to. Peel off each individual mouse feet from the sticker that they came with and carefully align them with the holes for the mouse feet. After doing that for all four mouse feet, don't forget to peel off the white sticker that protects them during shipping. Forgetting to do so will make your mouse feel very scratchy, so don't forget. Congratulations, you disassembled and maybe repaired your G305. Happy gaming. Bye.